Today I'm going to talk you through the planned OLED monitor panel developments expected over the next couple of years in the monitor space. Tell you exactly what you can look forward to in this rapidly growing market. New screen sizes, high refresh rates, high resolutions and much, much more. One of our most popular articles on our main site is our OLED panel roadmap. We last updated this in March 2023, telling you all about the planned OLED panels in the monitor space. Everything that we know about from LG Display and from Samsung, this information is based on official roadmap documentation that we have access to. It's not speculation, it's real insider information. We've now got some exciting updates on the OLED monitor panels, including updated timescales, especially for Samsung's QD OLED panels that we didn't have last time. I'll also share with you my expectations on monitor announcements and what we can expect to see over the next couple of years. I'll break this down by panel manufacturer and size to hopefully make it easy to follow. The dates I will talk about will include the currently expected panel mass production timelines. Then there's usually about a quarter's worth of delay before actual monitors start to appear on the market. So I'll talk about those dates as well. Please keep in mind that these dates aren't set in stone. They may change, they may be delayed, but they are our best estimation for mass production and monitor availability that we have right now. As ever, keep an eye on our main site for updates and more news. First to market in the first half of 2024 should be some new ultra wide panel options. The Samsung 34 inch 175Hz ultra wide QD OLED panel that's used in displays like the Dell Alienware AW3423DW was the first monitor OLED panel to market actually last year, launched around May 2022. It looks like more panels of this size will be the first to receive an update next year. Samsung are planning to produce a 240Hz refresh rate version of the 34-inch ultra-wide panel, which should go into mass production in Q1, leading to likely monitor release in early Q2. This should also be based on their second generation QD OLED technology. More info on that linked in the description below. LG Display are also planning to overlap their WOLED panels into this market with a similarly specced 34-inch ultra-wide panel with the same 3440 by 1440 resolution and 240 hertz refresh rate. It will likely be a little bit later with monitors likely to appear in the middle of Q2 2024. LG Display are also going to produce a larger size 39 inch ultra wide panel with the same resolution and 240 hertz refresh rate, but giving users the choice of a larger screen size if they want it for increased immersion and more comfortable viewing from a more distant viewing position. That's expected around the same time, so expect monitors to be available around the middle of Q2 2024. The LG display panels should be from their meta generation with MLA or micro lens array technology, like their current 27 inch and 45 inch panels. More info on that also linked in the description below. Following on a little bit later from these 34 inch and 39 inch ultra wide panels are some 16 by nine aspect ratio options. They'll be available in sizes from 27 inch and 31.5 inch, so that's the 32 inch class, the latter likely being of particular interest, I think. Let's cover the 27 inch panel first. So Samsung are planning to produce a 27 inch sized QD OLED panel, which will be their first offering in this smaller 16 by nine aspect ratio space. It will have a 2560 by 1440 or a 1440p resolution, like the current LG display 27 inch panels that are available but this will have a higher 360 Hertz refresh rate. That's expected to go into panel mass production in late Q1 2024, with monitor availability expected late Q2 2024. More exciting, I think, are the new 31.5 inch sized OLED panels, which will have a 4K resolution and a 240 Hertz refresh rate combined, something that gamers will be very interested in for sure. This will also represent the highest pixel density OLED panels have reached so far in the monitor space, reaching around 140 pixels per inch, a significant upgrade from the approximate 105 to 110 PPI that we see today. Samsung and LG Display both have plans to produce these 31.5 inch 4K 240Hz OLED panels, with Samsung likely being a little earlier to market. Their 31.5 inch QD OLED panel is expected to go into mass production in late Q1, with monitor availability hopefully expected late Q2 2024. 
LG Display's equivalent WOLED panel will be a little bit later with panel production in mid Q2, a little earlier actually than the date that we had in our last update in March, a monitor availability likely in mid Q3 2024. LG's panel is also expected to include their new Dynamic Frequency and Resolution Support or DFR. This allows support for the native 4K at 240Hz, but also allows you to boost the refresh rate up to double that at 480Hz if you're choosing a lower resolution like 1080p. This could give you an amazing choice for either highly detailed 4K gaming or a higher refresh rate for competitive gaming at 1080p if you'd prefer. More info on DFR in our roadmap article linked below. Keep this to yourselves, but I wouldn't be at all surprised if we saw some announcements of some 32 inch 4K 240Hz OLED monitors in the very near future. Keep an eye on our main site and Twitter for more information on that. There are plans for more, but these are further down the line and are less firm in terms of production timescales. We know they're being considered and planned, so they're worth talking about still, but the dates could well slip even from some of their 2025 dates here that are already quite a long way out. Or maybe we'll be pleasantly surprised and some of these will be reprioritized sooner. We'll have to wait and see. LG Display are planning to produce two new 27 inch sized W OLED panels. The first would have a 1440p resolution like their current offering, but double the refresh rate up to 480 hertz. That's expected to go into panel mass production in Q3 2024 at the moment, meaning monitors may not appear until late Q4 or maybe early in 2025. The second 27 inch panel has a higher 4K resolution and a 240Hz refresh rate, although this one is only in planning and discussion stage at the moment, with no specific dates listed. Samsung are also planning to produce a 27 inch QD OLED panel with 4K and 240Hz, but again we don't have any firm date for that either at this stage. For those who like the larger screen size of the current 42 inch 4K 16x9 panels used in quite a few monitors and TVs at the moment, LG are planning to finally upgrade the refresh rate from the current 120Hz to 240Hz. Whether or not that would be featured on TV focus screens I'm not so sure, but hopefully we'll see some 4K 240Hz monitors in that larger 42 inch screen size before too long. Finally LG Display are planning to produce an updated 45 inch ultra wide panel like their current offering. It will have a lower 165Hz refresh rate compared with their current 240Hz version but the resolution will be increased from 3440 by 1440 to a much higher 5120 by 2160, basically an ultra wide 4K resolution. That would offer much better pixel density and a higher image quality, albeit with a lower refresh rate for gamers. That's tentatively listed for panel mass production in Q1 2025, so maybe we'll see some monitors in the middle part of 2025 if it stays on track. Hopefully that's been interested and has given you a good idea of what we can expect to see in the OLED monitor space over the next couple of years. Keep an eye on our main site for news and updates, including any announcements about new monitors using these new panels. There's also a good post and discussion over on Reddit that I will link to below about these plans, where we'll also try and answer questions if we can. We've reviewed loads of the current OLED monitors too, which I'll link to in the description below if you want to check those out. You can of course leave us questions and comments here below and give us a like if you've enjoyed this video as well please. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with future content. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.